Shay Duffy getting ready to walk through cabin 224. So there's 214, this is 224, and that's 236. And then just to give an idea of, it's got some other log cabins around it, but they're not crammed on top of each other, which is a uh, become a rarity in the Branson short-term rental market. And it's nice, all of these are paved parking. And even my vacation rentals don't have that, so that's something. This one's a little dark inside. I feel like it could use some lighting. Of course, all the blinds are closed, but... Well, again, we've got oak hardwood flooring. Wood burning fireplace. And this one has a mini split for heat and air which we're pretty familiar with. We've got those on some of our properties. So they're still cleaning this one. Needs a rug. Needs some love on the decor, in my opinion. But I'm picky. The inspector's doing his thing, so. There's closet storage. You may be able to just put a bunch of towels, put a door on that, and put them in there, and just have them set out on top of here for guests to use. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm done distracting you, I think, for now. So one thing the inspector said, um, all in all, the inside seemed, seemed good. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some issues here and there, but, I mean, the decks are, I mean, this is cute and all, but, you know, technically the code is, you're not supposed to have more than a four-inch gap um, on the railings. Now, there's no building code enforcing uh, agency or inspections in Hollister so it's not something that anybody's going to force you to fix um, but it's just something to keep in mind for safety and he mentioned you know there are some legit safety this I would definitely uh, get looked at and fixed but um Hot tub for this one. See, it's hard because you want some privacy, although you can always build a little screen. 
or like a wooden partition. So I don't know, maybe. I mean, right here is relatively flat, and it's right, right off the deck. There again, you know, you're going to have to run electric and water, or at least, you know, make sure that you can bring a hose over to it, which... Yeah. Water on the outside was on the other side, but... The inspector seemed to think it would be pretty easy to run electric and water to these since it's got the big, they're up on a crawl space, but definitely get bids and opinions from the specialists on that one. So see the styrofoam thing over here is, that's water. So, I mean, you could also maybe just put a hot tub over here, but you'd have to, then your guests would have to walk around the whole house to get to it, and there's a water meter there, so I don't know if you can, I don't know, there's just not as much room. Okay. Um, so the other crawl spaces were, had more like gravel and this one's a little smells a little musty down here so probably the least functional of the of the crawl spaces he's gonna have to get in there and turn that light out oh, he's probably not done though Okay, that's 224.